just to preface this video if you are a makeup pedantic a makeup addict or you have like opinions on how a person should apply their makeup you should probably sit this video out because you will be a thousand percent triggered at how incompetent i am with makeup like i managed to trigger myself i have a high table dinner for my law faculty tonight and since i don't really wear makeup on the regular like events like these are my chances to sort of you know doll up a little feel pretty put on some makeup I actually thought I would wear makeup more regularly when I got into uni but then like I realized that I was going to be walking a lot and I was sweating so that really became like that really just went out of the window really quickly so I just finished washing my hair because I PE this morning so I'm gonna get my hair all dried up first and then I'll see you when I look more presentable Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have done like the thing that YouTubers do for their transitions where they like snap their fingers and it's like... Okay, never mind. Uh, I'm gonna slowly start the process of getting ready, like slowly, slowly. Oh my god, this lighting makes me look really, really good. Um, I'm gonna take some selfies while I'm at it. <laughs> okay, so let's start. Toner. Liquid moisturizer. Moisturizer. Okay, so I don't have primer, but I guess sunscreen works as a primer, hopefully. So that was my like base done. What do you do first? Okay, case in point at how bad I am at makeup. I don't even have foundation. I bought the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, which is actually concealer, but like I'm gonna use that as foundation. And get this, I don't even have a beauty blender, so I'm gonna blend this with my fingers, actually. So most of my makeup products are gifts from other people. I have not bought a single makeup item for myself besides this and like a couple NYX uh, lip, liquid lipsticks. Mm, not bad. If it was like the one makeup thing that I would- meh, meh. If it, like, if one makeup item was more regularly used, it would be my brow thing. So what I normally do is I just fill the front out and then comb it so it looks a little, like, even the whole way, you know? And like even when I do fill in my brows, no one really notices the difference. So like sometimes I even question why I do it. If I had to choose a favorite brow, it would be this brow. Simply because it has like a better arch. And like it's more full than the other one. Okay, brows are done. Should I try eyeshadow? Because like all the times that I've attempted to butt eyeshadow on myself, it has never ended well. It looks like someone punched me or it just didn't look good. I have two eyeshadow palettes. This one I've never used because it was a gift and it looks expensive. And then I have one from this. It's slightly smaller, more compact. Which one should I use? Uh, I'll use this when I'm more practiced with eyeliner. Eyes because they're to set my face. So I'm just. Does it look bad? Yes, yes, it does. I'm gonna open this though. Will this look good? Yep. Definitely going off. Okay, let's just forego eyeshadow this time because both eyes have now been equally mistreated and I would hate to mistreat them further. Uh, eyeliner. Now, I don't know, I don't normally put on eyeliner, but what I do, I don't wing it. Like, I don't put on winged eyeliner because I don't think that it matches my eye shape, but we're gonna try today.
Let's pray these two eyes turn out okay. Oh wow, look at all that concealer that came off. It's like a noticeable difference, but can I live with it? Yeah, I can live with it. <laughs> <laughs> So the thing is my eyelashes are really long it looks so good curled but then like they never hold a curl can you notice that they're curled and then mascara broke my eye i don't know ah, i pulled myself in the eye again Okay, so I've been told that I have like a natural blush, which I don't understand why because I don't think I have. I'm gonna put a little on here just to like liven up the face a little. And I don't have blush, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this NYX, I think it's Antwerp. Yeah, this Antwerp liquid lipstick. When I first bought it, I thought it was really good. It smells like a sugar factory and it's really, really drying, so. I don't like NYX anymore. This side is definitely too much. Now I just look like I'm drunk. No, definitely not. that's left is lips i have a lot of lipsticks so i have more lipsticks than i have any other makeup product like my collection could probably um would probably rival that of kylie jenner's so i have like i'll show you my lipsticks i have antwerp from nyx i have monte carlo from nyx this is actually a really nice shade uh i have marvelous from elf this is really good i love this and i have oh wait i also have like this which is a nice like brownish color from a japanese brand this i also love but i sometimes think that the color of the shade is a tad bit too dark for me and then i also have the 3ce lip kit which i love this is like a more like especially the middle color is a nice nude shade for me and i also like this color as well I like the texture of these. NYX really dries you out. ELF is okay. It's really long lasting, um, but it also like sort of dries you out. So what I do before I put on lipstick is I always like to put on my lip mask. This is from Laneige and I live for this. If I could choose one beauty product, if I could choose one beauty product to have for the rest of my life, it would be this. I'm really admiring the eyes today. I did a pretty good job. Black dress. A red lip will be too like out there. I think I'm gonna go with this. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Not too bad at all. I'm gonna blot this. This is the part where like they have setting spray or like setting powder to like finish the look. I do not have that. Ooh, should I put on highlight? I never really understood the point of highlight because like I have very oily skin so like it just makes me look extra greasy not bad not bad at all it's good it's good I'm gonna really go put on the dress This much? No. Okay. Mosquito repellent. Okay. Yeah, I took a selfie and I realized that this wing is so much better than this wing because this one is way too long. 
to fix it. Also this highlight. I like the highlight in them inside the eyes. But all this just makes my skin look super oily. Mm. For a makeup like newbie or someone who really doesn't know how to apply makeup as you have seen, this isn't a terrible job. This blush is too it was an adequate job. Like, it's not like I'll go out to the world and go like, oh, I'm a makeup artist. But it's also not like atrocious to the point where I'll have to take all this off and start again. So I chose a simple silver necklace. This is the completed look. See, this dress is pockets. So let me know what you think of this. If I did a good job, if I did an atrocious job, if you would even step out, oh, wow. I kind of look like a bimbo with this blush. Okay, let's not face the sunlight. Let me know how you think I did. I will probably vlog the high table dinner, maybe. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, sorry if I made you cringe too much, but hopefully you got some entertainment out of it. Yeah, have a good day, bye.